who would steal from a Boy Scout troop? That is the question Walker police are still trying to answer. Two trailers full of camping equipment were stolen from an American Legion post over the weekend. 13 On Your Side's Nate Belt talked to the scouts at their meeting tonight. First thought was, it's Father's Day. Why come to an American Legion and take Boy Scout stuff? Scoutmaster Chris Burlew couldn't believe it when he first got the call on Sunday. Two trailers filled with camping gear for his troop stolen. Pretty much where I'm standing is where our red trailer was. Uh, behind it was the white trailer. He was even more heartbroken to tell his scouts. It sounds like there was a ton of expensive stuff in there, like stoves, tents. It's going to be over 10,000 is what we've lost in gear between the two trailers. Because the trailers were parked to the rear of the building and not easily visible from the road, Chris thinks this was done by somebody who had to know these trailers were here. Whoever did it. Took a few minutes to plan ahead. The scouts of Troop 281 have a camping trip planned for next month, so the missing gear doesn't help. But it wasn't just equipment that was inside. We had a big blanket in there that had different patches on it from different events. That's not something we can replace. 13-year-old scout Sam Geese is looking at the bright side. The troop still has each other. It's just so much fun to know like boys your age just hanging out with them and like leveling up your skills in Boy Scouts. And now they still have their camping trip too. Another troop in the area, as well as several community members already volunteered to lend them supplies. Feels great that they're helping us out when like we, they didn't even need to help us. If there was a badge for making the most of a bad situation, Berlou says his boys more than earned it. They're gonna gain from it because they're gonna understand how to overcome something like this. And to the person who took the trailers. Just bring them back, just park them here. We'll call it good. You don't even have to leave a note saying you're sorry. If you have any information on where the trailers are, Burlew asks that you contact either Walker or Granville Police. Reporting Nate Belt, 13 on your side.